Hi everyone, this is Knowledge Topper and in this video we will understand another very important topic from risk management and that is risk assessment, okay? Like what is risk assessment? What is the process of risk assessment? We will understand all of this with the help of an example that I have prepared for you guys. So most importantly, your concept should be clear, okay? But please stick to this video till the end uh, as I can guarantee you after watching this video, your concept will be completely clear and you don't need to spend more of your time again on this topic, okay? Uh, so please watch this video till the end. First of all, I will read the definition so you have a basic understanding about risk assessment. Then we will focus on our example to understand it properly, okay? So as written on your screen, a risk assessment is a systematic process. Please concentrate on the highlighted words, okay? This will help you to understand this topic very easily, okay? Uh, so basically, a risk assessment is a systematic process of identifying and evaluating potential hazards that could negatively impact an individual organization or community okay why i said the systematic process because as you can see on your screen there is a proper process uh, you know to identify risk then you know you have to evaluate the likelihood and impact of that particular you know uh, risk or you can say hazard then you have to determine the level of risk and uh, then you know implement risk control different uh, you know uh, risk control measures you have to apply that and basically the last process involved you know the review and update of that particular risk assessment on a regular basis to ensure that it remains relevant and effective throughout like basically you know if we talk about uh, the objective or the goal of a risk assessment uh, is basically you know to determine the likelihood and the, the impact of a potential hazard and then basically implement different measures to minimize or control uh, the possible risk that uh, that different organizations or you know different individuals or communities you know they are exposed to basically okay like basically if i can explain you this particular you know risk assessment process uh, with the help of an example that i have prepared for you guys so you better know what exactly the risk assessment process is okay uh, so let's take an example here suppose that a cafe wants to conduct a risk assessment to identify its potential hazards in the kitchen and dining area okay uh, so as you can see on your screen there are five different you know uh, steps involved in a risk assessment process number one is identifying hazards okay uh, and number two is evaluate the likelihood and impact of each hazard. Number three is, you know, determine the level of risk. Number four, implement risk control measures. And number five is review and update. Okay. Like if you talk about our, you know, very first step, uh, it involves, you know, identifying potential hazards that could cause harm. Uh, and if we talk about our example, uh, the, the possible, you know, hazard could be uh, burns from hot equipment, slips and falls on wet floors, food contamination. Okay. So all these are the, you know, uh, let, let's say if we, if we talk about, uh, you know, a uh, risk manager or risk analyst, suppose that they identify these particular three hazards, okay, like burns from hot equipment, slips and falls on bed floors and food contamination. So these are the possible identifying hazards, okay. Then after identifying these hazards, uh, suppose that the risk manager, you know, uh, in the very next step, evaluate the likelihood and impact of each hazard, okay. Like basically uh, this particular, you know, step involves determining the likelihood of the hazard occurring and uh, you know its potential impact such as the number of people affected and you know the severity of injury or, or damage okay so if we talk about uh, uh, our example the likelihood of a burns from hot equipment is moderate and the impact could be severe okay similarly if we talk about the likelihood of slips and falls on wet floors it is high and you know the impact could be minor to moderate okay and uh, the last one is you know the food contamination so basically the likelihood of a food contamination is low and the impact could be moderate to severe as well okay so this is our second step uh, then if we talk about you know our third step which is determine the level of risk okay basically this step involves you know combining the likelihood and impact of each hazard to determine the overall level of risk okay like for example you know uh, if we talk about a hazard with a high likelihood of occurrence and a high potential impact would have an overall high level of risk okay and in our example of a cafe like if we talk about the risk of uh, uh, burns from hot equipment, you know, it is moderate overall, okay? Then if we talk about uh, the, the overall, you know, uh, level of risk uh, uh, of slips and falls on wet floors, it is high. And uh, if we talk about, you know, uh, the food contamination, it is low to moderate, okay? So the question is where we get from these results? We basically in second step, you know, combining the likelihood and impact of each hazard. And then we determine the level of the overall level of risk, okay? Uh, in our third step okay uh, then if we talk about our fourth uh, you know step uh, it involves you know implement risk control measures like basically you know selecting and implementing different appropriate measures to control uh, or minimize uh, these risks all these three risks okay 
so basically this steps you know involves all these sorts of things okay like if you talk about from our perspective of a cafe uh, they implements the following measures like uh, as you can see on your screen like if you talk about you know burns from hot equipment uh, they provide you know different trainings on the proper use of hot equipment uh, in order to you know uh, control that particular risk then if you talk about the slips and falls on wet floors what they did is they post different you know warning signs for wet floors and if you talk about you know food contamination uh, they implement different food safety procedures okay so that's how basically they implement uh, different different you know risk control measures okay then if you talk about our last step which is you know review and update basically this step involves you know regularly review and update the risk assessment to ensure it remains relevant and effective in controlling or you know uh, minimizing risk throughout okay so all these are the five steps involved in risk assessment process i hope you like today's video on a risk assessment and the example is helpful to you if you like this video thumbs up do appreciate our hard work in creating this particular video for you by subscribing our channel knowledge topper as well as like our facebook page and do join our Facebook group as well, where you find a lot of good material, not just related to these topics, but from many other different courses as well. I have already created a lot of videos on risk. You want to check out that I will make sure that I will attach a playlist link for that in the description of this video. So this is it for this video. Thank you so much, everyone. It's time to say bye bye.